guys, it's Lauren Weber, and today on Real Estate Lingo, I wanted to talk about the term impound accounts. Now, the full term is sometimes called an escrow impound account, but just not to get confused you with escrow, like when you're buying the house, so let's just put that to the side because this is after you close you need to opt in or out of having an impound account. Now, what does that mean? When you are going pre-approved with your lender, they are going to talk to you about your overall budget and then what that looks like on a monthly payment basis. All the costs, including your monthly mortgage, your insurance, um, and property taxes. So if you opt for an impound account, you'll just pay that full amount every month and then the separate escrow impound account will set aside those fees that are due at a later time and they will pay them for you. So property taxes are due twice a year, November 1st and February 1st, and then your homeowner's insurance is going to be due annually depending on when you close escrow. So those are potentially three different dates that you will have to remember to make these payments. So a lot of people do opt to have the impound account just for peace of mind. They don't have to think about it. However, I do want to notify you, alert you, put a, you know, a notice on your calendar that you may want to check on those accounts from time to time and make sure that those payments are being made. I have an impound account. I like that I don't have to think about it. And then when I get the notice in the mail, I just go quickly check and make sure that it's done on my behalf. Um, a reason why people may not want to set up impound accounts, I've heard is that they like to manage their own money. They like to know when those payments are being made and maybe they don't want to see that money sitting just in a escrow bank account. They want to invest that money into other investments, see that money grow and then pay them when they are due. So you have options, make sure you talk to your lender about what that may look like and then you can decide which route you'd like to go. I hope that's helpful. I hope you learned something and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.